today is the sixth and it's my sixth day of my six month documentary and my first day of fasting um yesterday i had an ocular migraine knocked me completely out i still don't feel the best GPS right now connected. but um i am heading on out and i think that i am perfectly happy talking about paramotor paramotor training uh intermittent fasting and the exercises i'm doing to get to uh, be able to fly and that's all i'm going to be talking about and maybe also i need to focus on i know that i'm addicted to sugar and carbs i know i am and it's been extremely difficult fasting has been the most extremely difficult thing i've ever done but it it helps so much it really is truly worth okay, it to answer some questions and uh some comments that has been going over the last couple of days um first of all thank you very much for your positive comments number two what's bc powder bc powder uh you can get it's just aspirin that's powdered up and um i like the cherry flavor it actually goes down much better than just crushed up aspirin that seems to work very well with uh headaches another comment said there's nothing you can do about migraines they just happen there's nothing you can do to prevent them they just happen however i completely disagree with that uh, there's a reason that they happen and once you find that cause you can eliminate that cause and stop it from happening to me i believe it is something in my diet what it exactly it is i'm still trying to figure it out but i tell you what eliminating sugar dairy like milk and eggs out of my diet has helped reduce them from multiple times a month to once every six months it's a very good idea i might take an epsom salt bath for the eye twitch but i think that eye twitch was because of that um migraine i had Rick said, how about all the food that you've been hiding, like that steak that you didn't post, and all those chicken bones, and all that chicken that you ate, not hiding anything. I am an eater. I tell you what I've been eating. I may not take a video or a photo, but man, I am an eater. I can eat a lot of food, and I think that's one of my issues. If I ate three meals a day, I would be fed. I would be completely fed. Having one meal a day, with the amount of food that I eat is the only thing that has kept me about 215 pounds and not back up to 315 pounds. But, you know, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. You know, I, I work a 40 hour work week, I'm 50 years old, um, I'm into to paramoting, paramotoring, I'm learning to kite, which is where I am right now. I'm over at the McGee Center pulling in. My dog wants to go for a walk, so give me a second. So we are out walking over here by the garden. It's, uh, I, I really love this place. I'm wearing my, my boots and my parachute pants. Um, wearing the same shirt, but you know, we do laundry every day. I'm sure somebody's gonna say something about my shirt, but I don't know. Do you not do laundry every day? I do. Woo, dog. One of the reasons why I like to take the dog out for a quick walk is to actually feel the air. You know, I know that there's a lot of um, safety issues when it comes to the paramotor and stuff like that. And this is a hell of a workout. And I feel a slight breeze coming from this way. And I see the flag. And there. it's barely doing anything. Which means that this is going to be another difficult day to kite the wing. But I'm out all the time kiting the wing, getting really good. My new wing is coming in on the 27th. Um, I believe I found a... Um, a uh, motor that I want. Come on, Pooch. Uh, I found a motor that I want, and my instructor has has funneled me in the right direction. Matter of fact, I put a post out in the Paramotor Facebook page and asking, you know, what someone like me would use. And a lot of people said uh, pretty much an engine with a uh, Moster uh, 185 and a 28 meter wing is, and that's exactly what my my instructor has put me in. And I don't know what my dog sees, but he is enjoying the weeds. I've become really proficient in reading the weather. I use the Windy TV app and I am, I'm trying to be the, the safest pilot that I can when it comes to 
to doing the paramotor. And I'm putting a lot of effort into kiting and making sure I know how to control the glider before I even fly. I'm making sure I'm really hydrated before I do this stuff in the morning. I mean, the heat index gets up to 100 degrees really quick over here. All right. We got water, air, the air conditioner's on. He can come out, come here, Pooch. Got a long leash. He can walk in, in and out of the car while I'm talking to you about the wing here. This wing is made of rip proof fabric and we have a bunch of different lines going to the risers. At the top you see that these are opened up and uh, when wind goes into these holes here it inflates the wing and it makes that signature curved wing foil look causes lift with speed like any wing, fixed wing or wing like this. And then to control it, we use the risers. It's very important that when we lay this wing out that we don't have any tangles in these lines because that can cause like the tip over here to not inflate correctly which would not be very good because if the wing is not opened correctly then you do not get the right lift and if you do not put this out correctly every time and you do not catch it you can fall to the ground once we build the wall and we make sure that all of our lines are not all messed up we're going to clip in so i'm going to take this and the yellow right here is my, my A riser. I'm gonna flip it over and clip into the carabiner. What if I can do this with one hand? Nope, not with one hand. All right, and the same thing. We're gonna flip that over and connect into this carabiner. Right, now we're gonna make sure that everything's straight. These big loops right here, these are the brakes. We're gonna make sure that everything is straight. There's no tangles. And then I'm going to Pull this brake here, like so, and make sure that we're free to the pulley. I'm going to reach under and grab the A's, like so, and flick them over my forearm, like so, and the other one, like this, all with my cell phone in my hand, videoing this. And I'm going to try to launch this with just, with no wind, um, holding my cell phone and uh, clipped in. Let's see if we can launch the swing behind us. And uh, this is what I do every morning for a couple hours. No wind launch. Holding on to the A's. The wing is above me. I'm controlling it as I'm running. Not too bad with my cell phone. But uh, I've really got really good at this. Oh, see if I can just run and fly it. Nope, because I pulled the brakes. But. So I pulled the footage from my dash cam to show you some more of this kiting. This is zero wind. This is extremely difficult to do. And to do this with a motor, I'd have to run about the same amount with about 50 pound motor on my back. Time to get a backpack and put 50 pounds in it and see what it feels like doing the same thing that I'm doing right here. I've contributed my successful launches to having a, uh, an instructor that has taught me, patiently, has taught me how to build a wall and launch correctly. So I'm gonna continue to do this for the next couple of hours and I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I promised myself every half an hour or 45 minutes I'm going to sit in the car and cool off, drink some water, and that's what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to try to do this with the dog running around by me. Try to keep him from freaking out. It actually seems like it's more 10, 15 minutes so I come in, drink water, and cool off. Even dog. We've been going out and running around. All right, it's gone down a little bit, so it's time to go back out and fly. All right, well, that was really fun. I enjoyed that. Got all cleaned up, washed my hair, and I'm going to go over and get a haircut today because my hair has been wild lately. 
Just got my hair trimmed and there's a heck of a breeze going. I might just have to go kite again real quick. Okay, here's another place that I'm gonna try to kite. There's a tad bit of wind, not much. The heat index is 104. I don't believe I'm gonna be out here very long. All right, I'm back home. I am going to get ready for work and that's my vlog for the day. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock when I get my DEXA scan done. I think I forgot to, to mention that. So DEXA scan, tomorrow morning, 8. See you there.